Because free skiing involves riding all types of terrain, it's essential to have lateral control switched on to keep your skiing consistent when the surface around you is usually inconsistent. Lateral control is a range of movement in the legs that's controlled by muscles in the groin and hip area. You can see if it's not switched on in a skier, as they'll generally break into an A-frame, either by allowing the feet to split outwards or by allowing the knees to drop inwards as they're steering through a turn. If this happens, your skis will travel through the variable or powder snow terrain at different angles and not have the desired smooth ride. It's a movement range that's never really spoken about unless you're at a high level in skiing or if you're attending a performance ski camp. Lateral control can be developed as you ski, but also in dry land ski training programs. The first stage in building it into your skiing is to become aware of it and learn how to use the muscles that control it. These are the abductor group of muscles, which include the gracilius, abductor magnus, abductor longus, abductor brevis, and the pectimius. A great way to become aware of the muscles that are used in the lateral control range of movement is simply pulling your feet together slowly. To begin the exercise, step your feet apart about half a metre. Take a look down at your skis and make sure they're flat. Then try slowly pulling them in laterally. At first it can feel very weak without much control. Sometimes people will either rush the movement to succeed or will jump the feet back in. The real skill is keeping the skis flat and making the range of movement as smooth and progressive as possible. In doing this, you build the muscle awareness to control it when you're actually skiing. It's worth taking a few runs between practicing this just to feel if you can activate lateral control while steering from turn to turn. It's not as easy as it sounds and at first you might feel it for a moment and then lose it just after. Repeat the static exercise again on the flat but this time increase the width of the stance. It gets harder the further apart your feet are, but it does work the muscles more and will increase the skill. Remember that this exercise can also be practiced at home. If you have a pair of socks on a tiled surface or slippers on a carpet, you should be able to replicate this movement and build the power off the mountain. Eventually, you'll feel this in your skiing all the time and you can then enjoy the consistency and confidence it gives to your skiing in off-piece terrain. A great test to use to make sure people have lateral control built into their skiing is spinning. The reason we use it to make sure is that one of the more difficult areas to hold your lateral control is spinning around on your skis, just at the point of almost going backwards. It's here that many people lose their symmetrical stance and allow it to split into an A-frame. The way to work through this and get yourself spinning a complete 360 degrees continuously is activating your lateral control before you start and holding the symmetry in your legs. As you get to the point of almost going backwards, look down at your legs and make sure the symmetry is being kept. You'll find that you can spin through this rotation with ease and actually keep it spinning with continuous 360s. The important thing to recognise here is that there's always a more difficult direction that you'll find to spin towards, in the same way that you'll always have a weaker turn direction. Quite often the weaker turning direction can actually have a weaker lateral control on one side. For you to gain lateral control and stay symmetrical in both directions, practice spinning more in the weaker direction. Very soon you'll find yourself building the lateral strength and control on this direction and balancing out between left and right. Having this new strength will help you maintain an almost equal distance between your hips, knees and feet and leave you steering through powder, variable, crud or slush with two skis travelling at the same angles.